Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Wednesday, the 15th of uh, February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market movements and the next potential uh, move or where the markets are obviously going today, let's start off with the Asian markets. First of all, overnight we had the uh, Nikkei back up 1%, back into resistance. Hang Seng certainly up 1%, but the Shanghai certainly finishing lower. In terms of the Nikkei, let's just bring up the Nikkei chart for you. You can see here we had the uh, bearish engulfing candle yesterday consolidation today so the Nikkei is certainly holding key resistance into that gap fill okay and not moving higher so that certainly isn't a positive sign especially when you have a um, unfilled gap uh, below you're certainly you certainly seem to be consolidating here before we start to move lower so just bear that in mind in terms of the uh, Shanghai index certainly finished weaker Shanghai still stuck into resistance okay if we do break higher then the next resistance zones are above at 445 and 450 but certainly expecting that zone to certainly hold for now, okay, in terms of the Shanghai. There are multiple unfill gaps below as well. Okay, so, so no real movement on the Asian markets from my perspective, especially given the fact that the U.S. markets pushed higher. Your, your Asian markets certainly are not obviously uh, uh, embracing that uh, positivity. In terms of European markets this morning, the FTSE is up by 28 points, the DAX up 28, the CAC up by uh, uh, 24 points as well the dax was actually higher at one point before it gave up those gains so just bear that in mind okay now in terms of uh, economic data out this morning uh, the main uh, talking point this morning really has to be uk average earnings certainly coming in a weaker than expected uh, jobless claims are certainly coming higher than expected as well so certainly a negative economic data on the uh, on the on the from the FTSE 100's perspective okay European trade balance certainly came out stronger than expected so just bear that in mind and we are looking for a barrage of information on the US front we have retail sales because CPI data uh, that we're certainly looking forward to in terms of the next potential market move okay now in terms of uh, technicals, given the fact that uh, the markets uh, certainly seem to have ignored uh, Mr. Miss Yellen's hawkish rhetoric, emerging market concerns, etc., markets certainly oblivious to that. It certainly seems to be euphoric at present, and it'd be interesting to see how the market trades from there. Yeah, again, from my perspective, uh, Fed members and Miss Yellen were certainly hawkish, which again obviously raises concerns, given the fact that borrowing costs are set to rise, and that certainly hurts disposable income, especially for emerging markets uh, specifically, and uh, the complacency certainly seems to be there. Okay, so certainly looking for a risk aversion day today. Now, the German DAX certainly gapped higher. We are looking to potentially close that gap now on the uh, German DAX, so certainly keep an eye on on that okay in terms of the next potential move on the german dax i mean we are now coming into gap fill uh, the uh, the gap higher certainly seems to be a, seems to be a rejected uh, thus far okay in terms of the uh, german dax so certainly keep an eye on that in terms of the next potential move okay so let's bear that in mind again a german dax coming into support here on the 11780 then we have support at 11770 as well which is gap fill so let's bear that in mind folks in terms of the next potential move now the uh, daily chart of the German DAX, let's just bring up the daily chart for you, certainly holding that potential double top. There was a gap level there that certainly has closed now. So any further gaps, it's 11,850 gaps certainly closed as well. If I go to a 60 minute chart, uh, you can certainly uh, see that here. If I can recollect 1600, then you have eight, or eight o'clock. So that gap certainly is closed. If I go to a 10 minute chart and zoom in, See if I can locate that gap. There it is. Okay, so that gap certainly has closed at 11.850. So is there anything else left to close? That's the question. Okay, that is the question. Is there anything else left to close? Okay, so all the gaps certainly filled. Okay, even that gap there at 11.815, that certainly closed as well. Uh, looking for resistance here. Again, you have multiple unfilled gaps below. So all eyes on the uh, the German DAX. Certainly is respecting technicals for now. Okay, so again, unfilled gap below. 11,770, double top, 11,850, 11,840, that certainly would be my aim, okay? 
Right, uh, in terms of the French CAC, let's just give you an insight here. French CAC, I mean, amazingly resilient, amazingly resilient. I'm not too sure what the uh, the actual uh, trigger here is. I mean, my bias certainly has been bearish on the French CAC given the uh, political uncertainty surrounding Le Pen, etc., etc. But this market has other ideas and you have to respect it for now. Uh, my stop loss uh, currently is above the 4930 zone to so 4935. Not expecting that certainly to be taken out. Okay, looking for that unfilled gap below to close. Okay, on the uh, on the French CAC 60 minute chart, certainly holding a gap fill resistance for now at 4922. Obviously, you have the pivot high at 4930. Certainly not expecting that to be broke, uh, broken. Certainly expecting that to be respected for now. Okay, in terms of the French CAC 10 minute chart, looking for unfilled gap. That was my aim really 4895 below, potentially even lower. But you have to respect the strength so far, folks, and that strength certainly is uh, ever transparent with pivot R3 resistance being hit. You have um, RSI as well, stochastic certainly uh, being triggered as well. French CAC support, pretty phenomenal, even especially with oil prices falling as well. French CAC still moving higher. OK, in terms of the FTSE 100, let's go to the daily chart. Uh, the monthly first of all the topping tail certainly is being respected so let's bear that in mind the daily chart is holding that fib 75 percent resistance for now again it will be end of day close that will be the most important factor here okay in terms of um, the FTSE next potential resistance you do have is at 7330 and 7355 and let's see if we can actually potentially tag that for now FTSE is holding that 7260 support below uh, and again, just keep observing that any potential sell off. Certainly, watch out for that zone. 10 minute chart certainly is weak from my perspective. Certainly, looking for uh, further weakness, looking to potentially move lower, especially with weaker economic data out this morning in terms of average earnings and jobless claims as well. So, so two negative uh, readings on, uh, on on fundamentals. Certainly, looking for a move lower on the on the FTSE, and I'm more than happy to uh, to open up a short position here. Okay. Uh, in terms of the euro stocks at present, let's just have a look here. Euro stocks on a daily chart holding that key resistance at 7335. Uh, Certainly looking for risk aversion. 60 minute chart into that key resistance zone here. And here, horizontal resistance basically beckons. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Your multiple unfilled gaps below as well. Looking for that unfilled gap to be closed at 3310 and then obviously potentially move lower. So just bear that in mind. Double top certainly seems to be 3335. Okay, uh, so again, really in terms of price action this morning, no real follow through on, on the upside in terms of uh, US equity market rally. So therefore, looking for weakness. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and visit trade signals, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.